Hello and welcome back to another episode of uh, Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue the blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty. Time for Dr. Symes exploration site. This archaeological site may be related to the antediluvian civilization discovered by Randolph Symes III. If we can secure it, we might be figuring out where Symes went next. And who is better suited to secure such a site than our A-team? Uh, with uh, absolute monstrous uh, abilities. Let's just double check. Uh, what are we even upgrading at this point? Good question. So, our carries, Shattered Realm, needs still speed. Uh, so, let's just do that. Maximum speed there. And there you go. More willpower for our good friend Jerenks. More hit points when needed. I think at this point every it's it's almost an everything goes uh, kind of situation. You just want to get uh, pure basic stats uh, upgraded and more hit points so that we are less likely to die from a random. Uh, from a random event that um, that goes wrong is helpful. Keep in mind, everyone here has like 250 hit points upwards. I think Inappropriate Murphy is still the lowest one because he had so many extra abilities, but 230 is very respectable if you have a full metal corset. So that's good. I like it. I like what we're doing. Let's go, baby, and join the mission. Here we go. Retrieve evidence of the antediluvians. And what are we fighting against? Uh, I don't like that. Got to deal with uh, the with this guy. Okay, so a couple of things. This is one of these missions where we don't necessarily need to take any. any casualty uh, uh many uh, captives okay fair enough let's begin to move LG one two we're going into full cover. Then hand over an action, which is exactly what uh, was needed. Rapid clearance, yes please. Owen begins to simply charge in like a madman. Okay, I get it. We're seeing a lot of enemies. Moving all the way to here. One. And still. Very nice. Okay, we get it. One. And kill. Yeah. 
Okay, well, yeah, more enemies than I would have expected. Moves up. And I just gently kills him. It's pretty official at this point. The sky, uh, thighs is completely and utterly busted. It's not even close anymore. It's just crazy damage at this point. Okay, so, um, yeah, I mean, we killed them all, right? Ian moves up. And I, I pretty much think we have secured the area. But okay, well, maybe we haven't. Who knows? Dranks moves up. That's a little overwatch here. Grell fully moves up. Can't really overwatch well with her. Euler moves to here, then moves to there, then takes the sniper and overwatches. Inappropriate Murphy moves up as far as he can and then overwatches. Polly does the same. Guess what? Overwatch. And Shattered Realm moves up. He could have been the one that also kills everybody here. It's a little bit uh, jealous uh, of his comrade, Butcher. single-handedly killed everyone. Alright, Shattered Realm moves up. Oh, I have not even taken the new equipment with me. We had a second scythe and another grenade launcher. Well, yeah, that was really difficult uh, with a maxed out team. Definitely seven minutes of intense <clears throat> and utmost destruction. Granted, we could have captured some, but then again, this was fun as, uh, as well. Just a quick, casual rush through the map. We've recovered a shattered metallic sphere of unknown origin most likely an antediluvian artifact. Writing inside, or what's left of it, seems to match what has been found in Symes' notes. Based on the data we have been able to decipher, it seems uh, Symes organized an expedition to the place he believed uh, to be held um, ultimate answers to the riddle of the antediluvians. With the last remaining Phoenix project operatives he sent out to Antarctica, they did not return. We have to go to Antarctica. <laughs> So
So what is even going on? Okay, that's going to be a long flight. Helios 5 and Helios 6 do exactly what they're supposed to do, which is move to Antarctica. Mention the Alpha team is responsible for all of the storyline missions. This potentially. Um, yeah, this is potentially a no show. This here could be another interesting mission and cool for the first time we can fly up so if we were to open phoenix omega we could actually fly up and uh, get australia covered with that team as well so that's the motivation to open yet another base here in australia not the worst idea Ah, not the worst idea. Okay, let's continue. And oh, by the way, before I forget it, because that shall not happen again, I went through the. Uh, I did not even go through the equipment. So, for starters, uh, good old Shattered Realm. Helia 6. Um, equipment. We got a nasty scythe somewhere. Just waiting for him to pick it up. There we go. Scyther it, uh, is the name. My apologies. Already got the uh, grenade launcher, so that's good. Phoenix uh, Helios cannon, good as well. Diddy G is waiting for the sniper, so uh, so is Euler. Both are okay. Grell. Grell is a walking arsenal of weapons. I wonder though, are we really going to use the sniper rifle? Well maybe but she also has uh, that redo so i think the reality here is sniper rifle cool but we can give her one a bit later for now grell takes the medic of the ancients that way she has something to do whenever enemies um, come a bit too close Not sure why we use the laser assault rifle here. I think that by now can go. Instead, I am thinking about another another rocket launcher. So who who has explosives and can uh, do that? Butcher owns five times. Not bad. He has boom blast. So for now, let's give him the explosive. That's not a bad idea. Grell, by the way, could take that uh, boom blast as well. The advantage of boom blast is the range increases by 50%, uh, but she has uh, equally adrenaline rush, uh, which allows her to even more effectively spit all of the uh, spit out all of uh, these grenades i think for now uh, let's increase speed because that's really where most of uh, the uh, where most of the points are uh, or where most of uh, the value is coming from yeah look i it's hard to find upgrades for anything that these guys are doing simply 
because they are already so ultra ultra strong so unless you can make them full robots uh, they will not become any stronger next up we're going to get more of the sniper rifles that is what I wanted to do anyways getting a bit more of that good job construction complete cool manufacturing uh, there we go scorpions put that right next on our agenda Two for ten is not fantastic, but okay. Don't want to trade more. Project Vulture would be the next uh, project, and since we only have 14 minutes so far in in the episode, might as well do Project Vulture. This one is a good one. Polina could use biochemist. Uh, it's not really good for her. That's not bad for Mili. I think we just wait for the second class to kick in. Anyone else with points? Here we wanted a second class as well, but we also wanted more hit points. I remember that uh, very well. Barely 200 hit points, I think, to be entirely honest. Vin oh, Vincenzo, I remember him from uh, from uh, the last mission. He was the guy who single-handedly like took one flank out by himself super good performance i really liked him uh, so let me consider what we can do for you buddy shotgun was good speed could actually be something that would be helpful but we don't have enough points for that willpower would also be helpful he was running low on willpower from time to time so let's just increase that and as time goes by we put more into willpower uh, here we do have a berserker uh, trooper yeah we wanted to now get the second class but with the trooper training greta is already doing well i believe a bit more willpower would maybe help but nah. rather the second class Mind control. Yeah, but we have only 170 hit points, so Isan needs to level up the hit points. Uh, boom blast. Not really good. I. Not for uh, not for Nick here. I think the resourceful might be the right way to go. I like, by the way, like the uh, Phoenix combat shield weighs a lot, but it is. Uh, super helpful so far so we're going to wait for resourceful two strengths will also make it more easy for us to deal with this situation 10 more hit points for barbour uh, to not go down that easy and yeah we talked about Paulina already so all in all I think good squad uh, barbour still needs some healing but that's okay let's go all right, we landed New Jericho and with New Jericho, a lot of heavies and snipers. That's a combination that I hate. Oh, <laughs> and an armadillo. Ah, that's just the cherry on the cake. I would like to think that jumping into that corner should allow us to hit anyone in sight. There apparently is no one, which is great, because my plan is 
to very much charge in and forfeit the outer area. The biggest problem that we're facing is just way, way too many uh, mm, rockets from the heavies. So the only way around that is the indoor area. False fire. It's a shame to see a sniper going indoor. But what am I supposed to do? Advancing. Good, Polina. They can't stop me. There is another sniper. Okay. Fair play. I'm going to deal with him next turn. Cento sprints up. Then, unfortunately, I would love to help Isla here, but the problem is, if I do that, we're still going to sit outside. Good. Finally, Greta. Bit of a aggressive push, but I cannot see how I would uh, be able to withstand outside. It's just too many of these guys. Protecting humanity. And specifically these, the rockets, they don't even need to hit. Best part of the job. Let's clean up some filth. Yeah, so far we're okay. Luckily, the cover still holds. Taking them out. <laughs> Protecting humanity. All right, nice. They are bombarding the building, which is exactly what I wanted them to do. Okay, come on. Miss. Uh, that's not great. I mean, look, overall, could it, ha could it have been better? Yes. Could it have been worse? Potentially, yes. We're fighting against 20 of them. 
And they definitely outgun us as well. So, if we can play the mind crush thing well, we could get all of them down in no time. All right, let's start. Polina moves up. Definitely injures the guy. <coughs> and straight up kills him. Very good. So, that's one down. All I need is to keep them busy enough so that they can't advance. If I move up over here, I can hit four, five with my war scream. I think that's the right play to do. Yeah. Rooftop, two, four, five, six, seven, even. Easy. Cool. Now, the other problem that we do have is how can we get all of these guys um Hmm, let me think that through. What's our move? We got onslaught for extra actions. How big is the mind crush? Should be good if we're standing here. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Almost could get these guys. That would be a crazy hit. Okay, moves up. First of all, need to heal. You can heal the limbs next turn. For now, 140 hit points. That's the way to go. Also, we're going to lose will points over here. That's a problem. Can't afford that to happen. Moving in further. 
Nah, that is uh, that's not an optimal positioning. We're too far spread out. Potentially need to give up this room and instead move into that central room here. Here. Good now. Action points one. We need more willpower, but that will happen. Hmm. Okay. Tricky situation, guys. Everybody else is losing will points. That's good. Five by five. That's what I was hoping we would see. This might be a problem moving out of the fire, but standing there is equally I'm an going. issue. to get that arm unfortunately yeah, that's not nice that's open. not so simple Target good hit. arm gone very good Could move over here, reinforce that side. Double Not a bad idea. Good, yeah, unfortunately we can't do anything else here. Staying in the inside, so luckily the rockets shouldn't affect us too much. The armadillo might be a problem. Time to wreck. Big boom incoming. Oh wow. Oh wow. Yeah, we gotta withdraw from here. They're using our, their turns to apply medkits, which is good. Time to break. I need. Okay.
Not enough will points. Can we get a will point somehow? I mean, yes, technically, yes, we can. What's our move? We have enough will points to shift actions. We would need to kill someone. I'm listening. On it. Free aim. Um, tell you what. Could set this guy up for a kill. Fuses will points, which is good. I'm ready. We're handing over Let's give it all we've got. Onslaught. Tell you what, this almost this is potentially the right thing to do. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Moves up, heals. And then heals. Okay, moving up further. Very good. fire thrower here I don't like that we need to at least stand over here okay cool well we can do that eight people affected by war scream Positioning. Let's make sure that this heavy here learns their lesson. <laughs> Got a sniper there. Yeah, I think that's the right position. Ready, sort of. My head, I can't breathe. Good, we're overwatching. Barbour. Moves up. Aiming. Okay. 
on my way. Move into here so that we do have a nice little crossfire here and there. Solid hit. Nick moves over here. Good, Greta. Nice hit. I like it. is bleeding that means no heavy weapon I'll try to stop them look we're generally fine our position isn't as exposed as it used Ow! to be the armadillo is a problem the rest of these guys here currently not in a good position Show them what we can do. Protecting humanity. And seeing that they are charging in, just to get a couple of shots, tells me that they are becoming more and more desperate. Very nice, very nice. All right, back. Where have we left off? I need to take a short break. We got quite a few baddies out here. And we got that armadillo. And really what we need is a war cry, which if we move correctly, we should be able to get everyone. Now, naturally, I would like to do some more Mind Crush, as that just deals awesome damage when everybody is so clustered up. Now, question of the day is... Uh, how many people would we hit if we are war crying from here? One, two, potentially three, four, five... Not perfect. <coughs> but it's still good enough. Unfortunately, we can't really move much. Which means these guys here will start to torpedo us with stupid ideas. Yeah. Preparing to fire. Good. Fun fact, if you do this here, and then hand over actions, Isla could actually start to meditate and then next turn use Mind Crush again. I'm ready. I think that is a good idea. Good, recover. Uh, 
I'm here. How about we're playing a bit aggressive? And are placing the turret down. Ah, that's too dangerous. Move to here, but it's dangerous from that side as well. Let's position ourselves up here for now. I'm here. On the move. Enemy contact. Fox fire moves up. Ah, uh, we can't heal him yet. Okay. I'm on my oh, never mind. Of hits, not bad. Holding position. I think overall, in terms of position, we need something that's safe, but equally central, so that everybody doing? Uh, can get uh, the will point bonus. So this position isn't too bad. I'm a bit concerned that someone might move in and take shots at us. So let's position ourselves here. Operator moves up. Let's try to get the heavy down. Oh! Very good. Here I come. Polina moves up. <coughs> Hits the sniper, who's now bleeding. And Barbour, what are we going to do with you? Aiming. Could hit, but not so far away. Move, shoot. Do we really do something else that is meaningful? I mean, look, we could go over here, hit that heavy. On the other hand, it's a good position that we find ourselves in at the moment. Yeah, I think we're going to go for the heavy. There's another assault right. maybe. We get the leg. That wouldn't be bad. He would have problems. Too much. Good. Slows him down. That is good. And he's also bleeding. Cool. And a point. Ow. As long as they are slowed down, we're good. Because they can't really fully act 
we continue to keep the upper hand with a much stronger position overall. How does that taste? It's over for you. Enemy engaged. For sure. ah. 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 So yeah, we do have a much stronger position overall. It's just an error of um, protecting our position. Not now, please. Bubble moves up. Surgical heal. As well as a normal heal. He just killed three. Okay, before we do anything, let's see, free aim. to get that wheel down same, same principle if it can't move it can't hurt us sort of On the move. Good, Polina moves up. Here I come. Kills an enemy. Moves back into position. Barbour. Aiming. Continues to hit uh, the vehicle. And then just moves into cover. Reloading our arms. further into an aggressive position and hmm Mind crush. All right. Uh, but there aren't that many enemies left. A 
And the continuous mine crushes through the wall have just completely exhausted their resources. Here. Moving out. Vincento moves out. Completely disables the rear. Let's go. Greater. Breaks the vehicle. Okay, we got a few more enemies left over. Not a lot, but a few more. Paulina, what are we going to do with you? Go in. I think for now we're just going to move over here. Nick moves up. Okay, well, we still got five more enemies, so... Should be careful here. Inside. Sure thing. Good, we're healing ourselves. a couple more spiders good end of turn on the move Interesting. The enemy is, is, almost seems to have given up. Hard to make sense of what they are doing. I'm going. Okay, so that guy's down. Crater continues to move up. What we can do. and we're continuing to hit them through the wall. <gasps> points of damage there and 100 points of damage there. Not sure if the guy on the third floor has actually I'm reloading. taken damage as well.
can make a difference. Uh, by the way, we need I'm frenzy here. again. Acquiring targets. This guy does not seem to move at all, so we're just going to take his armor. If we hit, that is. Let's rock. Good. Vincento moves up. Uh, we're just hitting the terminal, not the enemy. Like I said, it seems New Jericho isn't really doing anything anymore. Everybody speed up. And how can we get the guy upstairs? Oh, I know how. I'm here. Enemy contact. Regroup. Oh, nice. We could even give him All the sick. actions. Well, that's even better. clean up they were fierce opponents for a very long time until we finally found a way of getting through to them which is just cluster up try to not move too much Use War Scream a lot and then kill them through the wall via psionics. Seems a bit lame, but I actually enjoyed the tactical approach that we've taken here. Good, end of turn.
What's the plan? Definitely going to kill this guy. Five by five. False fire then moves up. Finds the last guy completely panicked. Unfortunately, we just can't hit him. All right. Moving up. And end of turn. That's it, right? Oh boy. What a cluster F of a mission. That one was one of the hardest missions that I've played so far. Just due to the sheer size of enemies. 20 enemies. If we wouldn't have just abused line of sight and went inside, I think the rockets alone would have potentially killed one or two of our soldiers. Which kind of tells you that the weapon in itself needs balancing. I get it. It only has like two charges. Good work. You see? 